beautiful world. Today, I'm going to be talking about epilepsy and seizures and the difference between the two. Or, and some similarities. Okay, so here. Epilepsy is when somebody has seizures multiple times and they will continue to have seizures. Okay, seizures are convulsions, mostly. Um, in the media, they show convulsions as seizures, but seizures can also be absent seizures where a person is uh, seemingly staring into space. Um, they could be aware of their surroundings, but not able to communicate or move. Uh, or they could be completely blacked out. And the same with convulsions, um, the tonic-clonic seizures or grand mal. Um, the person could either be blacked out or completely conscious. There are some seizures where a person could be doing random things. Um, somebody uh, could be cleaning their area. Um, I've seen somebody uh, organizing uh, the table in front of them while they were in a seizure. Um, I know people who take off their clothes when they're in a seizure. Um, there are times, uh, recently apparently I had a seizure where I was laughing maniacally. Um, and I was not aware of this at all because I was completely blacked out and um, yeah, seizures can vary uh, very greatly. Um, there are seizures where um, a jerk in your arm or uh, leg or whatever part of your body, uh, a twitch of some kind, that can be a seizure as well. Okay, so the difference um, between epileptics and um, seizures, epileptics have seizures more than once, but seizures, seizures themselves can be caused by a number of things. Um, tumors, um, e usually in epileptics. Um, uh, there are... Um, for me personally, um, from what I know so far, from what the doctors know so far, um, there's just uh, electrical wiring that is just firing off when it's not supposed to. Um, they can't find a specific area um, because they're generalized seizures, meaning they happen all around the brain and they can't really fix that with surgery or anything. Uh, seizures can be caused in normal people um, by things like overdoses. If you um, take too much medicine, like if you, um, there are medicines, like regular medicines that have uh, side effects of seizures, uh, even if you take like a regular dose. Um, so like I said, overdose of any kind of substance, um, taking too much recreational drugs or um, having too much alcohol uh, can cause a seizure and even mixing the two is horrible because that most likely will cause a seizure because of an overdose. Um, going through withdrawal. Um, can sometimes uh, trigger a seizure um, but that you kind of have to deal with if you're going through withdrawal um, if you want to be clean flashing lights can trigger seizures in epileptics or maybe even regular people if they are um, I guess fast enough um, because uh, some people are just photosensitive. Um, may not mean that they will continue to have seizures. It could be just, even with regular people, um, let's say a rave, 
the lights are too fast, then there you go, seizure. Um, that's why they have a lot of seizure warnings on video games because, um, not all video games, but uh, there are certain video games like uh, I was playing Harry Potter at one point and uh, it was, uh, I believe the Chamber of Secrets and it had a seizure warning on it um, but um, I actually had a seizure because I not typically I wasn't typically photosensitive at that time that was quite a few years ago and um, like half a decade ago at least and I thought you know what I'm not photosensitive I can play the game it's not gonna be a big deal uh, it's not gonna affect me and then seizure there you go um, the fact that I am photosensitive now. I can't really deal with any uh, bright lights, like really bright lights. Uh, they just give me a really bad headache and I can actually go into an absence seizure because of it. Um, I think my mind just kind of tries to block it out, I guess. The importance of knowing the difference is the fact that if you have multiple seizures, then you know you're going to have to start taking medication, start taking measures to try and prevent the seizures or um, at least try and reduce them, um, in my case. Um, they haven't been reduced much, but <sighs> gotta deal with that, uh, pretty much. Anyway, um, normal people, regular people who have seizures um, or have a seizure, I guess, uh, they can prevent them by not drinking too much, not taking too many drugs, or not taking drugs at all <laughs> um, in terms of recreational drugs because, yeah. Um, hmm. um, not um, if if possible not really taking the risk and taking uh, medicines that have side effects of seizures uh, I know most epileptics have a side effect of seizures and I'm actually allergic to um, most epileptic anti-epileptic medication which is pretty funny um, uh, not really funny, but ironic, um, and, uh, so yeah, most of them have a side effect of seizures, which is just weird, um, also, uh, allergies can trigger, um, seizures, uh, if you have epilepsy already, because I know uh, a couple days ago, uh, my mom had bought ice cream uh, again from the same company, Ben and Jerry's. But um, it was not the dairy-free kind, and I do have an allergy to dairy. And I hadn't looked at the container. I just assumed that it was a dairy-free kind. I hadn't paid attention because I was craving ice cream so much that I just dumped all the ice cream from both tubs uh, into a bowl and started uh, chowing down. And that wasn't the best idea, uh, even for a regular person because it's not healthy and um, even if it's vegan ice cream. Um, but especially because it's not vegan ice cream, it's even worse. Um, so I had a really bad reaction. Um, I was itchy all over and uh, I had a lot of seizures, a lot of absence seizures. That was actually the day that I had a seizure um, where I was laughing maniacally. Um, Apparently I sounded like a evil villain or something. Um, energy drinks. Energy drinks 
can trigger seizures even with just one sip or just one can. It can trigger a seizure because they are meant to be energy drinks. They stimulate uh, your neurons to give you more energy. And doing so can actually trigger a seizure because that is uh, a lot of electrical impulses going on in your brain and having too many electrical impulses can make your brain freak out and be like, oh, what's going on? Uh, I need to calm down. I need to restart. Uh, the computer needs to restart. And it shuts down and restarts and pretty much a seizure. Um, so one thing epileptics can't do is have uh, energy drinks because it is a huge risk if you do. Um, me personally, I don't like energy drinks. I don't like the taste of it. So I don't have to worry there. Um, but uh, even with regular people, having too many energy drinks can cause a crash or, um, or a seizure. So either way, it's not good. Um, it can also cause a heart attack. Um, people with uh, high blood pressure shouldn't be drinking energy drinks um, because, like I said, it can cause a heart attack. It's, n it's not healthy. So in epileptics, uh, seizures can also be caused by um, stress and also exposure to uh, extreme heat or dehydration or uh, extreme cold. Uh, anything in extremes uh, can be a trigger for a seizure for an epileptic. Uh, so for me, I have had seizures from exercising too much um, because I wanted to keep pushing myself. This was quite a few years ago. Um, not a good idea to um, push yourself too much if you have a condition like that. Um, I have been in cold, uh, even though I was dressed properly, my face was exposed, my hands were exposed, um, and it was really cold. I was actually out at night and I had a seizure because of the cold. Um, in extreme heat. I have had, uh, it was a seizure triggered by sunstroke. Um, I was at the Toronto Islands with my friends and swimming and I had a seizure in the water and because all my friends also had seizures, different types of seizures, um, they saw when I was about to have a seizure and quickly got me out of the water. And um, I am very grateful for that because, wow, I, it's possible that I wouldn't be here today if they didn't, you know, act fast. Um, especially my best friend. Um, she's awesome, <laughs> really. Um, I have had seizures from just stressing out too much over the most nonsensical things ever. Um, it's just, it's important to calm yourself down and make sure that you don't stress out. Um, at least you don't stress out to an extreme where you have a seizure because that sucks. So, yeah.
So, um, so I think I've said enough about the difference between epilepsy and seizures and triggers. Um, I love you guys. And you know what? If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you guys. Actually, so one thing I noticed um, after looking back at footage, uh, I had a seizure. And I'm going to leave that in because you guys need to see it. Um, for those of you who don't know what a seizure can look like, um, that is an absent seizure. And so there you go. I'm going to leave it in. And uh, I love you guys. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.